Hi friends, uh, welcome to today's video. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about the A of star algorithm. Uh, in the last video, we have discussed about the A star algorithm, which is one of the most important algorithm uh, used in artificial intelligence. So what is the uh, difference between this A star and A O star algorithm? It is that uh, both are what informed search technique, right? Both are coming under informed search and uh, both they uh, and they both use what heuristic values heuristic values to solve the problem okay and uh, both the solution the solution will be guaranteed uh, in both the algorithm so i said earlier that is a star uh, in a star algorithm we will be uh, getting an optimal solution so optimal solution means what shortest path with low cost right shortest path with low cost that is what optimal right but uh, ao star it does not guarantee uh, that we will get an optimal solution does not guarantee that we will get an optimal solution in ao star algorithm okay that is the main reason is that uh, once uh, in ao star algorithm once we got a solution okay once we got a solution uh, for the problem it will not explore any other solutions okay so we so the optimality is lost right so that is the main difference between this a star and ao star will go will not but a star always guarantee that will get an optimal solution okay but ao star does not guarantee that okay so what is the uh, technique what is the concept uh, behind uh, this ao star algorithm is that uh, consider and or graph okay what do you what do you mean by and or that is used a o star algorithm a stands for what and o stands for or that is and or graph okay we are just um, analyzing our problem uh, where or we are creating our problem in uh, in the format of and or trees okay and or graph or and or trees can be used for representing the solution right so uh, just consider an example uh, how to pass an exam how to pass an exam this is our problem statement okay this is our goal that is what what is our goal how to pass an exam so uh, this uh, what uh, aoster algorithm the the concept behind the aoster algorithm is that problem decomposition so what do you mean by problem decomposition we are just dividing the problem into various sub problems right and each sub problems can be separately solved and a combination of this will be a solution for our problem okay like that so in this example uh, our goal is what our problem statement is what how to pass an exam this is our problem statement this is our goal so we you we have two ways okay we have two ways uh, to uh, for this uh, for achieving the goal we have two ways what are the two choices first do cheating and then pass the exam okay first do che cheating that is that is not the right way okay second is uh, do hard work and pass the exam okay do hard work and pass the exam so we we, we have created an arc between in this example we have created an arc between do hard work and pass the exam why because uh, the uh, possibility of passing the exam by doing hard work is more than cheating right that is why we have created an arc between do hard work and pass the exam okay the arc are the sorry the arc is shown here okay so the red line uh, shows r that is we have two choices we have two ways uh, to pass the exam that is first do cheating and then do hard work and then passing so this two choices the, uh, we have to choose one right so uh, we, we have created uh, a red line here that is r uh, this first do cheating or what or do hard work and pass the exam so the arc denotes the and condition here okay this arc denotes the and condition here so we are we are just uh, constructing and or and or trees for representing our solution okay in this way uh, this aoster algorithm works okay so uh, if we get a solution if we get a solution once we got a solution it will not uh, what it will not explore any other path 
okay that is it in aosta that is why it will uh, it, uh, it not guarantee that i said uh, it will not guarantee that we will not get an optimal solution okay that is the technique that is used in aosta algorithm right let's see how uh, aosta algorithm works okay see this graph uh, uh, some uh, several nodes are there and uh, we have our problem statement that is a a is our goal okay a is our goal and we are just dividing the um, uh, that is problem statement problem into several sub problems and each sub problems can be solved separately and we have created an arc between the uh, arc in the graph okay so here in this graph uh, we have created an arc between b and c right and this arc denotes what and condition okay for any for any problem we will be having choices so in this uh, example we have two choices either a to b c or a to d okay an arc is uh, shown between b and c okay and the black color values that is one it represents the edge values that is the actual cost okay here the edge values are all same so just focus on the heuristic value only and the green color values 6 12 10 the, this represents what heuristic values and you might be knowing uh, for solving the uh, that is in the last uh, video uh, in a star i have just um, uh, mentioned about the formula that is f of n is equal to g of n plus h of n what is g of n it is the actual cost and what is h of n it is the heuristic value so we'll be creating new heuristic value and just remember the algorithm it always moves towards the lower cost value okay so let's see how we how it works this aostar algorithm it uh, works so first uh, in this graph uh, you can start from a that is our goal okay from uh, that is uh, a you have two choices that is from a you have two choices either f2 uh, that is a to d or what uh, the or f2 what a to bc a to bc okay this is the uh, what and uh, and condition right and condition okay just calculate the cost first you just calculate the cost f of n third so just calculate f of a to d the what is the actual cost f of a to d that is uh, it can be calculated by using this formula f of a to d that is what is the value of g of n that is one right a to d the what is the value of actual cost that is the edge value that is one what is the heuristic value of d that is 10 so it is 11 right 1 plus 10 okay 11 what about a2 next you have to calculate the a2 b c okay what is it what is the value a2 b c you have to consider this 1 plus 1 plus 6 plus 12 right what is 1 plus 1 plus 6 plus 12 right this is the actual cost a2 b 1 a2 c 1 okay actual cost edge value then a to b a heuristic value c b b uh, the value of uh, b is heuristic value of b is 6 and heuristic value of c is 12 so 6 plus 12 that is what 20 20 so what which is uh, smaller that is f of a to d right f of a to d is smaller so we will select this path that is f of a to d okay we will select it okay so from d uh, from d we have only one choice right f to e just we have only one choice so uh, just calculate uh, what f of a2 d2 that is f uh, ef okay just calculate it what is the value uh, 1 plus 1 plus uh, plus 4 plus 4 okay 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 4 right so what is the value 10 okay 10 right so the heuristic value of uh, what is what is the new heuristic value heuristic value previous previous value of uh, of heuristic value of d is what 10 again new heuristic value new calculate calculated heuristic values again what 10 so um, uh, no need to change the heuristic value here that is again it is what 10 new heuristic value is what what new heuristic values are uh, 10 so just to and again the cost will be what 11 that is f of a to d the cost uh, the cost of that is f of a to d again it will be what 11 that is uh, 1 plus 10 that is what 11 again the cost will be 11 
okay so uh, if suppose we have searched this path to reach our goal uh, uh, suppose we have searched this path and we have uh, reached our goal so this aostar algorithm it does not explore the other path that is a to bc it does, it does not explore the other path so, okay that is why uh, i said that is aostar algorithm uh, the optimality that is the just it sel it will select this path it will uh, and it have selected uh, reach the goal and it will not explore the other path okay it will not explore the other path that is the main uh, drawback okay in aostar algorithm right so but uh, in this example uh, we'll see we will explore the other path too and see what happen okay okay let's explore uh, the other path okay uh, so if we, uh, in this uh, example we have uh, two choices that is either from a to d or a to b c for so first we have uh, selected a to d okay so what is the actual cost that is F, uh, a to d that is 1 plus 10 uh, that is 11 right then next is f of a to uh, b c what is the value 1 plus 1 plus 6 plus 12 that is 20 right so we have chosen uh, here in this uh, we are going to select explore this path okay f, f of a to b c we have seen what happened in this path a to d uh, we have already seen so now we will explore a to b c so from b we have uh, what we have two ch uh, ch options that is g and h so you have to calculate f of what we are going to select this path obviously the path is the cost is higher but let's see what will happen uh, but the algorithm will not explore this path okay algorithm will not explore this path it will explore this path only okay once it once it got a solution it will just it will not explore the other path but we are going to see uh, uh, what will happen if we explore this path <coughs> okay so from b we have two choices g and h so you have to calculate f of what b to b to g okay b to g so what is the uh, heuristic value that is uh, b to g what is the actual cost one heuristic value is six so one plus six is what seven and what is f of b to h the h value actual cost is one heuristic values h, heuristic value of h is what seven so it is eight so which is the which is the lowest path f of b to g so we have selected f of b to g so from g uh, we have only uh, one uh, option that is two i so just calculate f of uh, what g to i so what is the uh, heuristic value five it is one h value 1 so 1 plus 1 that is 2 see the heuristic value new heuristic value is 2 but uh, the value of the heuristic value of g is what 5 so we will just uh, see the new heuristic value just will uh, I will write it here the new heuristic value of g is what 2 okay so uh, i said earlier the algorithm it will explore uh, it will explore only the lower cost value so it uh, we just mark it as 2 the heuristic value of g is 2 okay uh, if the heuristic values change if new heuristic values are found we, we have to calculate the cost also right so what is the cost here f of from uh, b uh, that is g to b to j the cost is what again we have to calculate again b to j that is uh, 1 plus 2 right 1 plus 2 the heuristic value of uh, g is what 2 so the new heuristic new cost should be found that is 1 plus 2 that is 3 okay so then a uh, new cost will be what 3 new cost will be 3 okay that is it uh, next uh, the path is that is a to b c uh, here c is pending right here c is pending so the new heuristic value of c is what 12 uh, the heuristic value of c is 12 so just see from c uh, you have only one choice that is to j only so just calculate f of c to j f of c to j what is the value okay what is the value of uh, uh, that is c to j that is 1 plus 1 right the heuristic values of j is what 1 h value is 1 so 1 plus 1 it is 2 okay so let's see what is the heuristic value of c 12 so what is the new heuristic value that is 2 so we have to change this heuristic value of c to 
2 okay heuristic value of c to 2 so you can just uh, <coughs> calculate that is the uh, you can just calculate the value f uh, f of a to b c let's, let's see with the new heuristic values what is the value 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 right 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 c 2 4 5 6 7 so what is the value of uh, this f of a to b c what is the heuristic value new heuristic value of b is 3 uh, heuristic value of c is 2 ok so 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 so 7 ok so let us see what is the heuristic value of uh, a to b c 7 which is again smaller than f of a uh, that is a to d that is f, uh, f of a to d the value is what 11 now the new uh, heuristic value f of a to b c new value is 7 so which is lower than the previous that uh, previous one so let us see um, uh, so we, we got a cost effective solution right we got the cost effective solution but uh, will uh, but this algorithm does not explore this path it will just explore this path only so if we are going to if we explore this path we we we, we could get a what a cost effective solution we might get a cost effective solution okay that is why uh, i said uh, that is it will not in some cases in some cases we will be getting an optimal solution so if you are exploring this path first you have exploring this path you might be getting what an optimal solution a cost effective solution but if you explore this path you will when you might not be sorry you might not be getting what an optimal solution right so that is the main difference between this a star and in a star will it is sure that is will get an optimal solution but in a star in some cases it will, will be getting uh, the optimal solution so that is the uh, this is the main concept uh, behind the Aostar algorithm uh, that is the Aostar algorithm it works on the principle of problem decomposition and we are just creating and or arcs in the graph and or trees we are just representing uh, for representing the solution so in this example first we have selected this path a to d and just uh, we have seen uh, what is the new uh, what is the value <coughs> no value no change in the heuristic value and no change in the cost okay but uh, if uh, but I, I try to just explore the other path that is a to b b to c and got a cost effective solution that is the uh, for a uh, value f of a to b uh, b c the value is what 7 so it is a cost effective solution okay that is <coughs> got an optimal solution if you are exploring this path okay that is about this uh, Aostar algorithm okay thank you